In this video, let's unbox and see the overview of Red Gear budget gaming headphones. On the box, you can see the Red Gear name would printed. Sides showcasing some specs. It's having 3.5 mm jack and soft cushioning, and this is for gaming. On the back side, you can see the complete list of specifications of this headset. This one is having 50 mm drivers. Also, if you want, you can pass here and check clearly. On the box, the price is mentioned as 1799 rupees, but I bought this one for 700 rupees only during the offer time. I'll provide the link to this product in the description box. Just check the price before buying it. Alright, let's unbox it and check what we get inside. Breaking the seal on the top and opening the box, we get the headset covered in a white package. Apart from this, nothing is available in the box. Only headset is available in the package, no paperwork. This is what the Red Gaming headset looks like. If you observe closely, there is a wire is attached to it. Yes, you are thinking it right, these are not Bluetooth headsets. You need to connect this cable to listen to the audio. Also there are three wires you can observe. One is for audio, one is for mic and another one is for power supply. So it means that you cannot use it with your mobile too. Let's check how much length of the wire we will get. Not bad, such a long cable we get here. Here on the side of the headset you can see a small rotation dial which helps to increase or decrease the audio levels. Also there is a mic is attached to it. You can easily twist the mic in which direction you need. The headset is looking good in my hands. There is a lot of cushioning provided to this. The top is covered with plastic. I don't know why these mindless persons they are. It's a metal guys. Even though it scratches, people won't worry about it. I think companies are having an agenda that they must use plastic for their products. Initially, I thought that I can use these headset on my mobile, but realized that it won't work. So I grabbed my laptop and connected it to check whether they work or not. Finally, I connected to my laptop and these are working fine. I never thought it's having an RGB light to the side of ear cups. Also, if you observe closely, there is a light in the mic too. These lights are not customizable and shift automatically. Even you cannot adjust the speed also. So how was the unboxing experience? I hope you loved it. Now I am going to using these headphones for a couple of hours and I will update to you a, like a short review about this. See you after some hours. All right. I used these headphones for gaming, for watching movies and some audio files listening also. The one word I would like to say and even I tested the mic also. The one word I would like to say about these headphones, I mean these gaming headphones is it is having mixed opinions. Sometimes I feel irritated, sometimes I feel like yeah these are very good one. First one by one I will tell it's a short review guys please make sure that and I'm going to posting an in-depth video in future upcoming days. First thing is I watched movies with the help of this one the sounds are pretty good and when it comes to my studio headphones these headphones are really good studio headphones produces all sounds flat you can listen each and every sound in the movie whereas in this one it's like a normal headphone number two i played the games yes i played some common games with the help of this one the experience with this one is okay and next thing i'm going to do with the help of these headphones is video editing this video i'm going to edit with the help of this one and i post in full review how it performs in video editing when it comes to the wear I didn't face it any problem when I was using these headphones. These are pretty good headphones. You can easily wear it like this. We're having an elastic band here on the top of it. So it's very good. And next thing is the mic quality. The mic is not that much to the limit guys, but it's okay. I'll post the audio samples of this one in future. And also two things I noticed bad in this one is after wearing these headphones for like maybe 10 to 15 minutes, my ears are getting warmer. If you want to use continuously, then I think it is not a good choice. Maybe I'll use these headphones for more and more time and I'm going to talk more about in in depth review. And next thing I found bad is you cannot connect these headphones to your mobile. Even in unboxing video also, I think you've seen I trying to connect these headphones to my mobile, but it's not. See, we're having three cables here. One is for audio, number two is for mic and number three is for power supply. Yes, without power supply, these headphones won't work at all. That's the initial and like glance review of this one. I hope you loved this one.
If in case, just click the like button and subscribe to Tech Bunny for more tech related video. And I'm going to use these headphones for more days and wait for the full review. Don't buy now onwards. After the full in depth review, maybe if I suggest you can buy, otherwise, it's a waste of money. See you again in the next video, guys. Bye bye. Take care.